So we're gonna go through this really quick and uh, we're gonna talk about why you need to sketch every day. While we're doing that, we're gonna watch me sketching my daily sketch. So um, when so before that, don't forget to subscribe, click bell notification. Uh, you can see me right here in the corner here. Um, and absolutely check out the more videos. I'm gonna do a lot of talking videos. I'm gonna mix up the channel and do a lot of interesting things and hopefully make you a better artist in the process, okay? Let's jump into kind of what I'm doing here on the screen as well. So the reason I do this, I sketch, this is one of my daily, my daily sketches. I sketch every day. That will upgrade your skill. Just like everything else, I always say this, uh, this is one of the most important things. You can learn everything, right? You can learn everything, you can learn all the stuff, you can learn the course, you can understand all of this stuff. But you need to do it, right? Because doing it is where that trial and error kicks in. So back when we didn't have the internet, we didn't have things to teach us, you know, the trial and error was probably a lot harder. You kind of learn it from a book um, and that would be great. But um, now it's easier, we got the internet, right? You don't have to do a lot of trial and error yourself as far as the knowledge part, right? So that's the knowledge. Now, but what we're really talking about is we're talking about now the, the, the actual doing, right? Uh, like I always say this, it's kind of like you're learning how to lift weights as opposed to lifting weights, right? You can watch me do this all day and there is a form of osmosis where you can be like, oh cool, he can do that, that means I can do it. There's some of that. Uh, which I don't think lifting weights has. Um, I don't think, right? I guess you can watch somebody lift something, but you need to practice it yourself. And the way you do that is you just kick back, get a sketchbook, get anything you want, sketch daily, doesn't matter what you sketch. And I recommend pen, right? I love these kind of things. Uh, I can post these things to Instagram. I can po I'm gonna start my Patreon up again. I'm gonna, that's gonna be mostly color though. Um, but you can kind of always have this book of ideas that you can look back to and you don't really have to do much. So this guy right here, I can show you real quick, even in this little screen, hopefully you see it, is uh, it's an action figure, which I'm sorry I cannot find. Uh, it's this guy right here. Whoops, it easy. This guy right here. Right, I'm drawing this guy and I'm kind of making him into, I'm sorry, not that guy, this guy. Sorry, it's the same dinosaur, but I got a different brand. But his face is uh, more or less, you know, not like that. The skull was, you know, kind of from my head. I, I kind of knew, remembered a little bit about it. Um, but it's better, I would say, to draw from an object or draw from your mind. I like drawing from an object, meaning an action figure, something like that, because it steadies your mind and it kind of gets you back into that, I don't know, correct state of mind. Then I like drawing stuff completely from my mind. I spend roughly about a couple hours a day drawing. I recommend you, whatever you do right now, do a little bit more. So let's just say right now you're doing once a week, maybe once a month. Do it a little bit more. You don't have to do it every I, I, I think you should do it every day, but at the very least do it a little bit more and you'll get better, okay? If you're drawing once a month, draw once a week. If you're drawing once a week, draw three times a week. If you're drawing three times a week, draw every single day. It's not hard to do that, and I would say for these, don't put yourself in front of any pressure. Draw what you like, right? If you like drawing animals, you like drawing people, draw that stuff, right? Look at photos on your phone and then draw from it totally for fun. And sorry, I got like egg in my teeth. I just I ate something right now. It's like, you know, midnight and I'm eating eggs. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but um, draw what you like, make it relaxing. And that's kind of what I would say to do like just doodle what you want that's a godzilla action figure love that if as long as you draw what you want it'll be a relaxing state of mind then when you practice something like brand new like perspective like buildings like things you really have to put full brain power into um that would be a different type of session um so i would mean like a sketch session where you're drawing stuff you like that's easy what let's say nothing's easy okay draw circles Draw circles, squares, draw like shapes, draw, draw like a cube, think of stuff in 3D space. You can definitely do that. Um, but like I said, whatever doesn't cause you a strain and uh, that's fully what I recommend. But um, when that happens, you're gonna start drawing quicker. That's one thing. You're gonna start drawing things you already know how to draw, but quicker. And you're not even gonna really notice it. You'll just be doing stuff and you're like, oh, a couple months in, you're like, I'm drawing this like a lot quicker now, wow. Or, and the other thing that no one ever talks about, <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, is when you, um, at some point, uh, you are actually going to um, start teaching yourself, you're, you're gonna learn things quicker about drawing. So for example, like I never drew a crocodile before. I mean, I have, but let's just say you never drew a crocodile before. But you draw a bunch of dinosaurs for fun, for practice, and you're pretty decent at that. 
you're gonna start drawing this other stuff also good because you're just oh, okay I'll have to do is modify this crocodile right that's pretty close but even stuff like big cats you're, you're gonna start drawing stuff a lot quicker when you do that trust me I don't know it's hard to explain I'm not sure quite how to explain that but you're gonna be able to learn if you learn how to draw one thing you'll be able to learn to draw other things much quicker it's gonna make the process a lot easier um, the other thing is gonna give you confidence right tons of confidence you're just gonna be brimming in it you're like yeah I can do this and then that's gonna sometimes give you wings emotionally um, until one day you're like me emotionally dead completely don't care <laughs> like I always tell people this and people laugh um, when I get up and draw and yeah these these drawing sessions there there is a difference emotionally generally like when I do an illustration I have to think you know but generally kind of when I draw for many many hours per day um, there's no highs and lows for me anymore. I don't remember who said this. I don't know if I got this from a writer. There's no highs and lows anymore. I just sit there, do it. There's definitely a relaxing feeling, but I don't have like a cool excitement anymore. And I also don't have like, Ugh, this hurts, you know, unless I'm doing something brand new, um, which is kind of rare nowadays because I've kind of drawn almost everything, right? A lot of it's like painting related, um, but hopefully that helps, okay? Kind of, kind of think about, it. so this is a Helicoprion, uh, it's a shark, an ancient, I think it's like an ancient shark, might not be in the shark family, that's also from an action figure. Um, really good stuff, like I said, it warms you up, uh, it, it lets you kind of have the, um, the hand-eye coordination and improvement, and you kind of want that ability. Um, you can also go out, and I, I kind of used to do videos on this, and I haven't done it in a long time. You can actually go out, let's say, to a cafe and draw people that are not looking right at you, right? Because they're going to be weirded out. But you can go over there and just doodle people, just for fun. Quick sketches. Um, another thing that I have an issue on sometimes is getting... Uh, and this is sometimes why I like drawing from figurines, like to warm up, as opposed to from my mind. Sometimes when I draw from my mind, it's a little too messy. And it kind of... I'm, I'm, especially if I'm very scatterbrained. Um, having something like this, right? like an action figure to draw from, or like a person, like whoever, uh, it steadies my mind, and maybe you have the same thing, it'll probably have the same effect, is it steadies your mind, and it kind of gets you more into this clean mode, because you have something to follow. You have this real life artifact that you can follow, and it gets you a tremendous amount of like control again. You're like, okay, cool, I'm not scatter a scatterbrain, you're focused, cool. Then I go on to different objects. Um, I've been doing a lot of my sketch sessions uh, on the iPad because I'm not very good at that. So I've kind of been doing it on there more just to get used to like the glass, you know, if anybody's used an iPad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that to this channel as well. Um, and I'll show you the stuff I brought up there. Um, so that's, that's kind of the cool part about all this. Um, I, I would say for me, this is like a, in general, it's a habit. And you build that habit by drawing every day. Uh, when it's a habit, it's just something you do, something you're used to. Uh, and like I said this in another quick video, this is my last point. When you start doing this kind of stuff, um, it might seem like labor. It might seem like a labor. Maybe all of drawing is hard for you. I understand that. But the more you do it every day, you start to... That weight on your mind to do it, to sketch, it starts to kind of lift. Almost like you're grinding something down, like an edge. And you're like, okay, I made myself do it. Maybe you have to make yourself do it for a week or two or three. And if you do it, you push through that, you have to push through it much, much less. And then that weight starts to lift. Um, and then one day you get to this point, like I'm at, where it's hard not to draw. I don't know if you ever felt that. It's just, it's, it's not just like, you know, the way some people draw as a hobby and they're inspired to draw. You're just, you just do it. You're just like, okay, cool. It's hard not to draw. You're like, oh man, I'm just, I have, it's, just, it's natural, right? If someone said, don't do it, you'd be like, oh, really? Like, it's kind of hard not to, because you've been doing it so much. Uh, you're, you know, like I said, you have a relative joy, hopefully, over it. Something, right? I'm just saying, don't be like me, you know, have some, some joy, a little bit of joy, of course. I mean, I have a little bit of joy, but for the most part, my, again, my base level is like this now right where at the beginning when I was first starting my best level was like woo up down up down like whoa I love that drawing down like no I'm terrible oh my gosh you know it was just it's like it was too out of control and the more you do this kind of stuff every day it starts to that's that's better right it starts to kind of level out 
and then one day it's just you know, like me you just kind of go up a little bit down a little bit um and there's a couple of peaks as you learn something new and you're like wow i'm so glad i drew that um or maybe the more you do your own designs because that's kind of after the fact right now what i want to teach you guys to do is to get the basics down i'm talking to you as a beginner if you're intermediate good you should hear this as well um it's good basic fundamentals but what i really want you to do is so you can create whatever you want and that's one of the most rewarding things ever in my opinion when you do a design and you're like whoa that's my style that's my thing and uh, that's perfectly in line with what I do um, final thoughts um, get a sketchbook right now if you need the how to's right now get a sketchbook I've said this in other videos get a sketchbook any sketchbook pile of paper doesn't matter you can make it you can quantify it by papers or you can quantify it by time you if you really really are dragging do 10 minutes a day not not joking 10 minutes set the alarm set your iPhone whatever you have Android set 10 minutes cool set another 20 minutes right if you want to do more go over right but don't go below that do that every day right I, like I was saying earlier you can either add time. Uh, this is like another way to do it. you can add maybe a certain amount of time to it um, and then you're one day you're like me where I'm drawn at night for like four or five hours and you're like well this is crazy I'll draw from like 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. because I'm a night owl but hopefully that did a little bit. Let me talk a little bit about this guy as well. Um, that is from also an action figure. It's this guy. I forgot what it was called. I think it's a pachycephalosaur. Like dinosaurs is my thing, so I have a trim. It's not a pachycephalosaur though, because he doesn't have the hard skull. They think it's either uh, an infant one or uh, I think it's called Styracosaur. No, no, no. Do I have the name here? Yeah, it doesn't have a name. If somebody can, is it Dra Dracosaur or something like that? Dragon? Somebody, if somebody can name this dinosaur, uh, I'll give you a couple points there uh, in the description. So hopefully that kind of made it a little bit clearer and kind of like my process. Drawing every day is so, ne I think it's almost necessary. And especially at the beginning, do it, okay? You're gonna blow your mind. You're gonna blow, you're gonna like be, whoa, you're gonna be wowed after a few months. You'll be like, whoa. You put that work in. It doesn't even really mean, it's not even like that. It, it'll become not work, I think. Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please share the video, by the way. We just have little simple talks here. I'm going to be putting other stuff. I'm going to put uh, a few more lessons. Check out the main website, sketchingeasy.com. A lot of this channel is art tips, but I want you to tell me what you want on this channel, okay? Let me know what you want, and I will totally put it on here. Uh, and I will talk to you in the next video, all right? See you soon, and hopefully have an amazing day. And uh, yeah, bon voyage, all right? See ya.